coordination, finally. September 18, 1977, the Yale Divinity School Chapel was filled with people. It was a fully ecumenical experience. I was at the beginning of my second year of teaching at the Divinity School and my first year of serving at Hamden Plains United Methodist Church. Burton would preach at the ordination. Our son Mark was cross-bearer. Joel and Kirk were acolytes. Two women from Detroit, good friends Linda Ridgway and choir director Arta Faye Roberts came and sang gospel music. Roger Field administered the rite of ordination. And there were people speaking from um, uh, all sorts of, of places in the broader church. Roger Field in his remarks said uh, that Norma is called to serve outside the structures of the Lutheran Church, but inside the mission of the broader church. The, divine, the dean of the Divinity School uh, gave a charge, as well as the Methodist pastor, Bill Bowdendissel, and some teachers from Hamden Hall Country Day School were there. Uh, there was a full line of Lutheran clergy uh, laying on hands, as well as a full line of Lutheran deaconesses. Um, one of the first Episcopal women to be ordained came to my ordination as well. We received permission to use the liturgy from the soon to be published Lutheran Book of Worship. Roman Catholic Henry Noun also came up to lay on hands at the end, even though he wasn't supposed to. Gaylord Noyce, my partner, at uh, Yale, UCC pastor, read the lessons. There were so many uh, pastors, teachers, lay people. Uh, the Lutheran students from Yale came and helped lead us in the liturgy. I was teaching confirmation that year at both the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod and LCA Parish, so those uh, young people came and ushered. There were quite a few Lutheran Church Missouri Synod people who came from Zion congregation. One laywoman whom I'd asked to give a charge said, as you leave us, as you must, don't forget the women of Missouri. Mark had designed the invitation and a deaconess from New York surprised me by turning that design into a banner that we used in the service. When it came to the part of the service when uh, the candidate is presented, the congregation with a huge affirmation all shouted out, thanks be to God. We followed with a potluck supper in the common room. All helped, including vacuuming floors at the end. Meanwhile, our children were thriving. They had adapted well to the concept of their mother being a pastor, so much so that the next day when the telephone rang, uh, and someone asked for Pastor Everest, they said, which one? I would teach at Yale Divinity School for three years, and those final two I would serve Hampton Plains. Burton by now was doing interims, um, once at a United Church of Christ church in Connecticut and then at a Lutheran church in Massachusetts. We took turns caring for the boys, uh, sometimes they'd go with dad on the weekend and camp out in the church where he was serving. Sometimes they'd, they'd go with me. They were also in the Lutheran Church Sunday School, but then they'd come over and worship with me at the Methodist Church too. I remember representing Methodists at an ecumenical gathering at UCC Church. Um, so we were internalizing this ecumenical spirit, but both Burton and I were Lutherans at heart. Um, it would have been easy, I think, for us to just drift away and to serve Methodist, UCC, in the broader uh, scope of things. But he and I were both yet committed to Lutheran theology and to serving the church through that tradition. But he was at that time uh, serving as chaplain at a, a nursing home as well as serving a UCC church. I was serving at a Methodist church and teaching at Yale. Uh, and he was working for the Yale campaign, so we had five part-time positions uh, between us, but it was clear that our family would need one of us at least to have a more stable uh, position. Dennis Winkleblack, who was by then the pastor at the United Methodist Church, happened to be looking through the Christian centuries and saw an, 
an ad for positions at Wartburg Seminary. Uh, Burton and I were both seeking positions. I also interviewed for a position with Lutheran Social Services of New England. Uh, we talked, Burton and I, and prayed and prioritized if one or another would receive this or that position. Um, the position with Lutheran Social Services meant working with congregations to keep them healthy. And they also were very enthusiastic about my continuing to teach at Yale and perhaps would even help me uh, receive a doctorate. And Yale was very open to their having a uh, Lutheran Social Service office on the Yale campus. Um, so that was a very um, open invitation. But I kept them waiting for a few weeks, and that's not my nature. Mother always told me, don't keep people waiting. Um, but I was waiting to see what happened at Wartburg. And then it was actually uh, the graduation day at Yale that year that I received a phone call from Bill Weidman saying, come on out, we've chosen you to be our professor. Uh, I would find out later that I would be the first woman professor at a seminary of the American Lutheran Church. Uh, I accepted that position that had been at the top of our cumulative list and we started on our journey back to the Midwest. Uh, so much had happened in the nine years since we had come east. The Methodists sent me off with Wesley's blessing. Do not make the parish your world, make the world your parish. Mm -hmm.